All right, hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, so today I wanted to kind of show you guys what a uh, little tutorial, um, kind of like a DIY. Uh, so I just bought um, around seven mags, enough to fill the bandolier. Um, uh, 20 round mags from C Product Defense, so they're mags. I bought these off of uh, Mag Commander. Um, so these are their 20 round steel mags with the orange uh, anti-tilt followers. Um, so far pretty good mags i haven't had any problems feeding uh anything through them so that's pretty good uh but what i wanted to do is since they're black and they're orange followers uh running them through an m16 uh at like a reenactment or something it doesn't really quite look right um so what i did is this is my original mag i got an original colt mag with it uh you can see it's a little darker gray um and this is black so this probably started off like this but just ended up obviously through um, wear and tear looking like this um, so what I wanted to do was get that classic look so what I did is I took the mag and I turned it into this um, I put the that black follower in there and it gray so you put it in the mag uh, m16 it just looks gives it that like uh, kind of classic m16 look with the gray mag uh, this is the original looks like that and obviously the black so like I said all, all these colors were used in Vietnam but I uh, just kind of differed from manufacturing how uh, worn down the mag looked but uh, like I said this classic look is what I was going for so today I'm gonna show you guys what I did and how I did it um, like I said I got seven mags here well six now and uh, we're gonna go through it all so what you're gonna need is a uh, Obviously, a uh, 20 round mag, like I said, you can get these off Mag Commander for like, I think they're like 10, 12 bucks or something like that, or anywhere else. Um, and then you're gonna wanna take them apart. I'll show you guys how to take them apart in a second, but then you're gonna need spray paint. So what I went for the uh, the outer, you're, uh, you want a matte color, so I, you just, I went to Lowe's, picked this up. It's a matte, deep gray. Uh, and then for the follower, I went with the satin black um, because looking at this, had a little bit of a shine to it, um, the gloss. So that's what I did with this. So like I said, these are all the three mags. This is what they look look at uh, look like. So yeah, we'll get right down to it. All right, so take these mags apart. Um, they differ, so this is, like I said, this is an original one. Um, so the way to take this one off is you're gonna wanna decompress on this right here and then it'll slide off. However, on the uh, Duramags, um, there's a different little way. So what I did is I just got a ram uh, cleaning rod and what I'm gonna do is take here and kind of pull up a little bit. You wanna clear that, that back right there. And then once it's cleared, it should slide off. So you have the magazine bottom right here and then you're gonna wanna remove and then the follower will come out. And then the spring is attached on the follower through a little hook right here. And then what you're gonna wanna do is kinda just wiggle that out. Once it's out, you got your follower, you got your spring. Take these two parts and move them off to the side. These are what we're gonna be working with today. So um, we're gonna get the spray paint out and we're gonna spray paint this one black and this one gray. So. Um, I'll get one, uh, them laid out and we'll start the first coat. All right, so got everything laid out. Um, so we're gonna start with that first coat of the the gray, the matte gray on the mags. So just like you would spray paint anything, just gonna come over, nice continuous strokes. Don't forget the sides of the mags itself. There one coat now you don't want to go too thick with your coats because uh, you'll start to make the magazine thicker and then that will mess it up as you're loading it into your the M16 itself of the rifle. So nice thin coats, 
you can keep going back and applying. I did do three. And that seemed to work. Plus, you got to remember, um, the more you put it in the gun and whatnot, so at the top of it will start to strip. So that's mag. We're going to let that dry, and then we'll come over to the followers. Use the black. Now, these ones need a little bit heavier coat, but again, don't overdo it. So just come down. Make sure you get in the sides too. Uh, the bottoms you don't really need to worry about because the bottoms are going to be in the gun. In the, in the magazine so they're not going to be seen but the tops are and uh, one thing you will notice while you're doing this part is the orange is still going to bleed through just a little bit and um, that's why we're going to do multiple coats but so we got both coats sitting right now we'll let those dry and then we'll get back to them all right we're uh we're back just came to check out on the first coat it's uh looks like it's dry the uh manufacturer says to at least wait five minutes for um, applying another coat but uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply three coats so this one I'm about to do and then apply uh, one more after that and then we'll flip so son of a bitch so again just a simple coat Same thing over here. All right, uh, three coats have been, all right, three coats have been applied and uh, magazines are good on this side. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip them over now and we're gonna do the same exact thing to this side so three uh coats um not worrying so much on the sides because i hit those up uh pretty good um when i was doing the other side so should just do three coats on the top uh maybe hit up the sides a little bit more like this one could use a little bit more um so we'll see that we'll put that by here but these are done um He's got three coats as well, so you can see the bottoms are still orange, but the top's pretty good. Um, what you're gonna see on some of them is there's gonna be a little bit of orange, but the moment you load around in here, um, they're gonna chip. So, like I said, as long as really this part is good, the top, um, that's fine. Everything here down is gonna be almost, uh, is gonna be not really seen. So we're gonna let these dry a little bit longer so they can, um, dry up so they don't chip whenever we load the rounds and um but like i said some of these i, I accidentally overcoated so they're going to be a little bit difficult to load things so we'll leave that alone but yep hit another coat on these and then we should be done or another three coats and we should be done all right so we let them uh sit overnight uh let them kind of dry for 24 hours um that way they're all good to go. So these are this is the complete uh, magazines are painted. And these are the followers right here. Um, <clears throat> like I said, these are gonna have a little bit of orange still showing in them. If you really want to, you can um, keep hitting it until it gets the orange out. But I mean, it's, it's gonna be there like when you load your rounds and whatnot. Um, yeah, this is them after, and uh, they, they are a little bit uh, rough, I guess, but that's because I think I was spray painting them outside, and I kind of like the debris and stuff all in the paint. Um, the one I did 
before, this is the first one I did. Um, I probably could have let this one sit a little bit longer. As you can see, the paint's starting to come up towards the top, but um, it's not as rough. So make sure whenever you're, it's probably better to spray paint them indoors um, or somewhere where it's not gonna be debris because that's what happened to mine. But uh, we're gonna put them together now and we'll see how they look. All right, so to put these back together, you should gonna take one of the uh, uh, mags, one of the followers, and one of the springs. So for the spring, you'll take it in the back right here. There's this little uh, hole in the back of the follower. You're gonna loop that through the hole. I can get this here, hang on. Yep, there we go. That's it, that's how it should look. And then these particular mags, it's a groove slot, so you just tuck it in there, and then it's a little, um, kind of moving everything around until it fits. What you can do, what I do is I take the little punch rod, punch it down in there until the followers flush. flush and we'll take the back of this compress the mag uh, all the way and take this I'll push it down and then slide it in and click and there you go Mags put back together we're looking good all right, so now that they're done, uh, you can run them through, get them tested out, make sure they all uh, they all run through the mag. Like I said, they're, um, they're gonna be freshly painted, so they're gonna be a little stiff coming in and out. Um, not as smooth as the original. Uh, this one just slides in and out, but this one, it's gonna be a little, uh, little rough at first until all that paint kind of wears down. But uh, I think once you put these in, they really give it that, uh, kind of like uh, old steel mag kind of look to them, even though they were made of aluminum, um, a lot of them looked like this color. Um, like I said, this is an original one, so you can see the color difference. This is just worn pretty, uh, this is worn in pretty good. But uh, to be able to replicate that, that's pretty good. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hopefully you guys can go out there and make, uh, any, if you have a project M16, uh, if you're just trying to even turn your, uh, 30 round mags or uh, any kind of mag uh, into something more retro. Uh, hope that worked for you. So, uh, like I said, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos and uh, go give the Instagram page a check. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video.